Let my soul bless Yahweh, the great king. For Jerusalem shall be built up with sapphires and emeralds and precious stones, thy walls and towers and battlements with pure gold. And the streets of Jerusalem shall be paved with beryl and carbuncle and stones of Ophir. And all her streets shall say, Alleluia. And they shall praise him, saying, Blessed be Yahweh, which have extolled it forever. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood brass, and for stones iron. I will also make thy officers peace, and thine exactors righteousness. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy walls salvation, and thy gates praise. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. But the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy God thy glory. Thy sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. For the Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy mourning shall be ended. Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. The Lord said that on the Heavenly Father's right hand, there are pleasures evermore. And it says that I have not seen neither ear heard the things that the Lord have prepared for them that wait for him. You know, there's a whole another world of greatness that awaits us when the kingdom of heaven is established. It's not seen in this society. In this society, we only see carnal things that reason offers in this society. But when the kingdom is established, the Lord is going to open this up to a whole another world. You know, of pleasure, of knowledge, of wisdom, understanding. You know, just... I mean, can't even be put into words, you know, because our imagination only goes with so far. <clears throat> all right shalom first and foremost i'd like to give all praise and glory and to yahweh bahashem yahushah bahashem kakradash and do my honors unto the apostles and the elders of gms who rule well teach well being great examples to his younger brothers and peace and blessing salutations and hopefully they got that pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of yahweh bahashem yahushah pushing to get up out of here Shall want to hopefully let the believers or listeners who have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. All right, and what I want to get into, okay, this morning, you know, going to the afternoon, you know, is dealing with, you know, understanding the conflict, you know, which the major conflict that we see happening, you know, is dealing with, you know, those Israelis and Hamas. And what I want to go into is as this thing unfolds, we see that this was all set up, you know, and Esau using the formula of problem, reaction, solution. You know, we always hear about, you know, problem, reaction, solution. So in the spirit, you know, the spirit, you know, been giving me intel and, um, you know, things been coming out and it's been lining up, you know, and I think, you know, we have, you know, um, the information we need to really go and show, you know, the step by step, you know, each step of problem, reaction, solution. And this is a formula that Esau Edom uses, you know, um, 
globally. You know, he use it, you know, in all the things that we see, you know, whenever he wants to bring his agenda, okay, he creates a problem. He controls the reaction through his media. Okay, he creates the problem through, you know, what they call false flags or, you know, hoax. All right, he creates the problem. And then he controls the reaction, you know, with his media. All right, and then we see the solution, which is what he wanted to do from the beginning. You know, this is this is what he wants to do in the beginning. You know, even with the sea hill. All right, we're going to see the problem, which is going to be a destroyed economy. Okay, um, uncontrollable violence. All right, famines. Okay. And he's gonna, you know, control the reaction through why this is happening through through the media. Okay, and then he's gonna present the sea hip as a solution, which that's what he wanted to do before the problem was presented, before the problem, you know, um occurred. Okay. So he he already has this solution, okay, which is his which is it which is his agenda before the problem occurs, okay? So I want to get some precepts, you know, and just uh, get a foundation to the lesson now. And we go through these things, okay, so we, you know, as believers can have an understanding of what's going on, okay? So we're not swayed, you know, or tossed to and fro like everyone else is, all right? So this is why we go into these things. This is why, you know, we have to do the labor, you know, and you know, get these un get the understanding of what's going on, okay, being circumspect. Now I want to get this in first Corinthians thirteen and eleven. Um let's see. All right, this first Corinthians thirteen eleven said when I was a child I spake as a child, understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Okay, because when we first come into the truth, you know, we have you know, a minute understanding of how things work. You know, we're just excited, you know, to find out that we're Israelites, understanding our power, their names, understanding the promises. Okay, and we, you know, we have a child like mine, you know, and as we mature in the faith, one thing about it, you know, we, you know, as we, especially as men, you know, as brothers that join these camps or even, you know, you know, you brothers you know, just listening, you know, and, we begin to study and observe Esau Edom, you know, we understand how he moves, you know, because there's, you know, even younger brothers, they see these things happening, you know, and they get extremely excited, you know, which this is exciting. You know, prophecy is exciting, you know, but you can get overly excited thinking that, you know, uh, uh, World War Three, you know, is going to start, you know, within the next two or three days because of this event, you know, and one thing, that we, you know, cause, cause what, 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 what's the thing of becoming an adult? Okay. One thing about becoming an adult is that you have a collection of experiences that form who you are, your character, you know? So as we, you know, come into this thing as, as babes, okay. And we get experience, you know, especially brothers that follow geopolitics, you know, there's so many things that we've seen that we thought, okay, this is it, you know, it's on, okay, <laughs> but then, you know, it fills it out, okay, so when we see these things, we learn not to, you know, react, overreact, okay, we, we, we learn to watch these things play out and see, you know, what's to become of it, now, we're still on watch, okay, we don't, you know, we're, we're not numb, you know, to things that's going on, all right, but we develop patience and kind of let the information pour in and then make an assessment from that in the spirit, you know, and that's us, you know, um, you know, becoming, you know, spiritual adults, okay? So what we have to understand, you know, dealing with the state of Israel, okay, because even when you go into this definition, okay, of state, you know, and I pray that, you know, these things make sense. I try to make it concise and put it in layman's terms as much as possible, you know, not to make it too nerdy, you know. But I say if, you, if anyone has any questions, you know, feel free, you know, to put them on chat, you know, after the lesson, 
you know, if there's a specific thing, you know, that you want to explain and, um, you know, put it in the, on, on the comment board and we'll go into it, you know, Lord will, you know. But so you go into the word state, okay, which is the state of Israel. All right. Now, you got a state. It says the particular condition that someone or something is in at the specific time. Okay. Now, the state of Israel okay it's pretty much in the condition where it's being occupied by a certain military force known as the idf the israeli defense force that's the state all right of the um of, of israel at this point okay and this state is ran by what a zionist government all right when you go to definition two it says a nation or territory considered as an organized political community under one government Okay, which we know they have the Zionist government, okay, that, that runs off the ideology, you know, of them being the people, the chosen people, okay, and they have their military force, the IDL, to enforce that, okay. So the mil the Israeli state was was created, okay, by you know the the theory, you know, the ideologies of Zionists to control their region. Because this is what we have to understand. And, you know, we go over these things all the time. You know, you can do your own research on it. But when you go into Daniel 7, the 7th chapter, when you go into the, um, the the different empires, okay, that they spoke of, and you go into the, the Assyrians, okay, the Babylonians, all right, the... Um, the, the, the medo persian empire you go into the greeks and you go into the romans what what things did those uh nations have in common okay is that they will always occupy the land of israel you know they will always absorb israel into their empire okay as a vassal okay because this land is, is is crucial for world dominion, you know. So when you look at these different empires that, that, that pretty much rose to world dominance, they will always, you know, have uh, um, uh, authority or rule. They will always occupy Israel, you know, to some capacity, that land. Okay, whether you have the Syrians that, you know, removed the northern tribes and you know um placed okay you know different people from the other from the, another part of his empire and their land okay but they had dominion okay over you know samaria all right you look at the uh, the, the neo babylonians when they remove okay the um the the southern kingdom from israel okay they will have you know puppet leaders you know set up okay um within that land okay and then you look at the, the medio persian empire they allowed you know our forefathers to build but we were still a providence okay under the medio persians okay and then you look at the greeks all right the greeks you know you go into pretty much with the ptolemies and the um uh, uh solution empire you know there was a lot of wars you know over the control of palestine you know you go into their history you know you can look at the solution wars you know you, you know you brothers you know if you want to study that look into the solution wars where there's always a battle all right between these uh different greek fascists over control over palestine and then you will have you know in the romans okay eventually you had pompey you know come in and make all right um uh, uh, uh rome all right a um so like you had pompey all right the roman general who will make uh you know judea you know a province under roman authority okay so now you have today these edomites all right for brother matter of fact my brother can post it real quick um romans not romans uh judge Job, yeah, Job 924. Brother can post it 
um, Job 9 and 24. And also, real quick, if a brother could post the book of Matthew, all right, Matthew chapter 11 and... Let's see. Yep. Uh, Matthew chapter 11 and 12. All right. Matthew chapter 11 and 12. Okay. So, um, going back to the point, and then, yes, I'm going to get these videos, and we'll go into these things. But, um, you're just going back into the point. All right. You had the Romans when they came into power. You know, Pompey, you know, made judea a tributary unto um the roman empire okay so these um world superpowers all right they would always have a uh a stake okay <laughs> they say you won't let joe go up <laughs> you know hey that's about right you know, I pity Esau is, okay? Matter of fact, there's a prophecy that kind of sum up what I'm saying in Zechariah, okay? But let's prove this point real quick. Um, The brother got this posted. This is the book of uh, Matthew 11 and 12. This is the brother GMS through the fire too, all right? This the um the beloved brother Tazen Mark, shout out one, bro. Yeah, you know, we still got to handle that business. You know, it's, it's it's up there. You know, you figure it out. <laughs> well, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 12. It says, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffering violence. Okay, and violence taken there by force. And he was speaking of the Roman Empire on the Pompeii. All right, which you can study that history as well. You know, and you know, it's good to study those things on your own because it'll stick to, you know, but study you know, how Pompey made Jerusalem, all right, or Judea, a vassal to the Romans, you know, study that, you know, go look into that, okay, um, but, um, he was speaking about, you know, the Romans pretty much making Judea a vassal, you know, so it was always whoever was in power, you know, controlling Judea, Jerusalem, you know, was always, you know, heavy, you know, geographically, you know, and also, you know, as a as a as a uh, pretty much, if you had control of Jerusalem. You know, there was your. It pretty much solidified like, well, I'm supposed to be in power, you know, because I have control of Jerusalem, <laughs> you know. All right, so you go to Job nine twenty four. This is a brother beyond Yashala. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay. And the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And who is the wicked? Esau, Edom. You know, and to speak about how he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, who, where and who is he? And speaking of Esau, Edom. So if these devils have control of the earth today, all right, you see them doing what? Uh, occupying Israel. Okay? All right, they're, they're occupying our land. You see? And they portraying themselves as us. You know, which is nothing but, you know, more propaganda. Okay, but this is nothing new, what we're seeing. Now, I want to get this in Zechariah. Um, I believe it's the first chapter. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I started 15. So let's go here real quick. Just want to start at a good point, you know, then we'll get into, uh, you know, the videos, you know, we'll bounce through them, you know. So let's get um, Zechariah chapter 1, you know, and it pretty much sum up, sums up what's being said. Now, this is the book of Zechariah chapter 1, and all right, verse 15. 
It says, I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. For I was but a little displeased and they helped forward to affliction. You know, so the Lord has the anger. You know, he displeased at the heathen and how they're moving, you know, and how they are pretty much, you know, confederate against his people. All right. In our low condition. You know, so the Lord is displeased. And this is what we're seeing today. Psalms 83 in full effect with these nations confederate against, okay, his people. Okay. And that's why the Lord, you know, he had to activate us, you know, returning back, you know, put the spirit on us, you know, through the sacrifice of Yahweh to return to repent, you know, because if it was up to these nations, they would leave us in this dead state. Okay. Zechariah 1 and 16. Therefore, it does say the Lord, I am returned to Jerusalem with mercies. My house shall be built in it, said the Lord of hosts, and a line shall be stretched forth upon jerusalem see this is what's happening the mercies of the lord all right and what's the token of the lord's mercy is us having this understanding us awakening to who we are okay through the holy spirit okay it says cry cry yet saying thus said the lord of hosts my cities through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad and the lord shall yet comfort zion and shall yet choose jerusalem and see this is what's happening in the midst of these heathens see us waking up plays a major part in geopolitics man us waking see <laughs> I, 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 I want you know us as believers to understand the importance of us as men and women waking up to who we are all right it's having a major effect on geopolitics man okay and this is the part of the uproar that we're seeing Amalek because Amalek knows. So we're seeing him pretty much pushing the gas on his NWO, man. Okay? Because the Lord has chosen us again. This devil is done. All right, verse 18. Then lifted up, up my eyes and saw and beheld four horns. And horns represent power. Okay? In this, term, in this context, power structures. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, what be these? And he answered me, These are the horns which I have scattered. All right, these are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Okay, and these horns, all right, represent the uh, the Neo Assyrian Babylonian Empire. Okay, the, the Medo Persian Empire, the Greeks and the Romans. All right, because under these four captivities, you know what we scattered. All right, and our land was, was occupied, okay, by foreigners, man. <laughs> okay, this is we see today. All right, so let's go from there and let's get into it. So now I want to deal with I want to deal with the problem aspect. Okay, let's deal with the problem. Now, the problem that, that, that has been created, remember, these things are created. You know, these things are not random. Okay, what we're seeing. So, the problem that was created was that, you know, this surprise attack by Hamas. Now, let's go to show. Now, the brothers. Um, you said they tell me it's going to fall again. All right, the elder Ariala, you know, and two of the brothers out in, um, two of the other brothers. I know the other brother, um, Priest Shaar. All right, beloved brother, diligent brother. Um, and I forgot the other brother name, but you know, they did this um lesson going to sage propaganda, propaganda will get worse. Proper propaganda will get worse, you know. If a brother can put that definition up, you know, for propaganda, you know, we're gonna try to point home on that as well. All right, but it's about 35 minute video, you know. I recommend watching it. Um we're just going to touch on the video that he put up. All right, I um, post this, you know, and like I said, with this elder brother Ariala, him and um, the elder brother Kai Kwam, you know, these are the men, you know, that inspire me to really. And the brother um, Elder Yashima from uh, from down here in the GMS Mississippi camp, you know, um, they really inspire me to get into. You know geopolitics and going to these things man the way they can tie into the history into 
you know, the Bible, you know, it just blew my mind, <laughs> you know, and I've just been infatuated, you know, ever since. But um, we're going to go into a video they did, you know, like I, said, I posted the link, you know, watch, you know, subscribe if you're not subscribed, you know, and be um be edified, you know, uh, him, El Ariel and El the brother. Require Quorum out of London, you know, they did a recent um algorithm as well, you know. So um they're gonna go into, you know, you got this guy from Israeli news, you know, which he's a small hat, you know, but he you know, he can be biased at times and then sometimes, you know, he goes into the truth. <laughs> you know, he goes into the truth of the matter. So he's gonna play a video, you know, with this woman discussing you know, how, you know, there's no way, you know, that there could be an attack, a, uh, a you know, surprise attack, okay, on those Israelis, you know, but this goes into him creating a problem, okay, and then we're going to go into the reaction, all right, so we're going to watch this, you know, let it play, and we'll go from there. Um, let's get this definition first. Okay, this is uh, the brother GMS, good soldier, 144, propaganda is an information, especially of a biased or misleading nature used to promote or publicize a particular political cause or point of view. Okay, and this is what we're seeing. All right, and this is what we're going to go into. All right, um, when we go into the reaction, we're going to see the propaganda, propaganda, all right, heavily used okay and they work in the reaction okay so let's let this play and then we'll go to the reaction all right and brothers you know any precepts that come up you know bob the shop you know post and we'll you know we'll deal himself so you know he's got about a 40 minute uh, uh video saying it's called israeli rabbi calls hamas attack inside job I'm going to skip in about 14 minutes and just play a small clip just to highlight the type of games and mischief and craft that Esau, you know, coming in the spiritual demon, Satan, will bring. Okay. Make sure this is up. Okay. That's what she has to say. Now, I want you to pay close attention to this lady right here. This is uh, on the Mark F uh, Friedrich uh, channel here. Uh, and this is Ifrat uh, Finnegason. She lives in Tel Aviv. And I want you to listen to what she has to say here. When I was a soldier, and I know the security drills. I by, by the way, uh, and I've got another portion of where she does this. This is only one clip of this uh, interview here. She has taken a compilation of different Israelis and what their observations were. She lives in Tel Aviv. Uh, it's a very typical Jewish uh, apartment there that you're looking at. I know when we lived, me and my wife lived in uh, Jerusalem. We also had an apartment with very similar tile floors, et cetera there. Uh, but uh, listen to what she says here. This is what I was talking about when I was given the intel of this a year ago, 10, 10 months ago, is where one of the places where I reported it. I shared with you the other day. But listen to what she says. I know the layers of defense. I know the spreading of forces on the ground. I know the different divisions that are working that are supposed to be alerted and that supposed to know about things like that. And there is a big question mark on what happened to the intelligence of Israel. There was a Hamas soldier that was caught yesterday and he said in his investigation, in his investigation, sorry, he said, we prepared for over a year. Okay, if they have prepared for over a year, I'm telling you that there is no chance that the intelligence forces of Israel, Mossad, the Shabak, everyone did not know about this. Now, but, um, yeah, the Mossad, which is basically the CIA of uh, the state of Israel, they they have the best of the best. When you watch these spy movies, that really is not showing you probably a third of their capabilities. Yeah. You know, they, they're not showing you all the, their capabilities of them utilizing drones to listen in, them being able to uh, have sleeper cells inside of these different 
so-called quote-unquote terrorist groups, you're out the camp. Just pack your stuff, go. I'm just kidding, bro. <laughs> you know, that, you know uh, they have all types of capabilities, man. You know, so she's saying when they were uh, interrogating one of these uh, Hamas militants that, you know, we've been, we've been, we've been preparing for this for over a year. Over a year, we've been ready to do this. And so she's saying there's no way they could have not known something about this. It's impossible from her experience being in the Israeli military. Yeah, got you. It's been five hours till Israel started shooting at us, he said. And and that is true. There was nothing for five full hours. The so, but when they came across the border and started shooting, five hours passed before they even had no. any type of resistance back. You can't even do that right. in a small town, Texas. Mm -hmm. Sheriff at least pull up and pop BB gun, look, you know, a local at least yeah. bust back at you. Yeah, and don't they have a hell of a military over there? One of the best. Yeah, yeah. one of the best in the Iraq. Right, five hours? Nah. Border fence was completely open in 15 di different places where they breached, and there was no helicopter, no drone, no, uh, you know, artillery, nothing. And you know, they, they said it themselves. The guy that, that was caught said, we were all set up with 1,000 soldiers. We created 15 breaches in the border fence. We were surprised and shocked that the IDF is not waiting for us. Now, I served near the Gaza border 25 years ago. When I served, there was no internet. Now everything is a lot, lot more sophisticated. But even then, when I served, a cat moving alongside the fence would trigger all the necessary forces. Today, they have automatic uh, weaponry machines that are supposed to shoot anything near the fence that is coming close. Uh, they have, as I said, helicopters, drones, they have everything. So when she was back, when she was in the military 25 years ago, a cat crossing that Iron Dome border mm -hmm. would set off where yeah. people would be on your head. Right. And now it's so much more sophisticated. You know, you right. watch, you go to movies, you you go, you, you cross the laser beam, and then all these guns mm -hmm. come out, and start shooting at you. They have that, right? You can't just walk up into the border. <laughs> a gun, a mini gun, will go, choo -choo, yeah, pinpoint you and shoot you. It was all turned off, apparently. Mm -hmm. Okay. And nothing was working. So this is a really important question. How come there was no retaliation? How come nothing happened for so long, for five, six hours? This is very untypical and unusual for the Israeli Defense Forces. So something must have happened. There are some rumors about cyber attacks, but this has not been confirmed. You know, some people try to justify saying, okay, if there was a a cyber attack on the, the defense force says I'll, that maybe all the systems were down, but still there's supposed to be forces on the ground. There are plan B's, you know, they, they have all the different means to take care of incidents like that. You know, the other, the other thing was, was that they had moved the military out from the Gaza border. 80% of them were moved to the West Bank just prior to this incident taking place. Listen to listen to her over here, and this so is other another part of... Conveniently, 80% uh, of their military equipment was moved away from the Gaza border, and they moved it to the West Bank because there was an alert that it might be something from Hezbollah. Oh, wow. From out of Lebanon. Yeah. The time is first. You know, exactly. Yeah, good, good question. Because uh, or they moved it because they're crafty, right? They're right. cunning. They're setting things up in the background. The brother was gonna read Micah too. We'll get it here in a minute. They, that's what they do. Different time when she's now, speaking. Fact, we can get that Psalms thirty-six. Psalms thirty-six, and four. You know, start at three, Bubba Kusha. Somebody want to? I got it right here. I already got it pulled up. This is the book of Psalms, chapter thirty-six, verse three. And it says, the words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. Mm -hmm. He hath left off to be wise and to do good. Can do good. Mm -hmm. He deviseth mischief upon his bed. He sitteth salaki. So, he went, so you know, you be, you be laying in your bed, you think about what you're going to be doing mm -hmm. the next day or maybe the next week. Mm -hmm. 
you know, you might you might be thinking about, you know, some money you want to make. You might be thinking about the soccer game, you know, a uh, play that you want to have. You might be thinking about a video game. You know what Esau think about? How can I not kill? Yeah. Nope. How can I slave? How can I take over? You know? Mm-hmm. That's what he think about. Yep. Lay down. All right. Read that again. Gone. Psalms chapter 36, verse 4. He deviseth mischief upon his bed. He setteth himself in a way that it is not good. He abhorreth not evil. He, he does not abhor evil. He does not want to get away from evil. He thinks about evil and it turns him on. Okay? He's like, yes. So that's why they would move the stuff away from the border and open it up for uh, invaders to come in conveniently. About this incident when it first took place, let's listen out. October 7th, 2023. This is for this morning. I'm going to share some key details and concerns mostly based on Israeli citizens' voices from the ground and based on official statements. This is a very tough day for me and for us in Israel, and it is tough for people of Palestine too, especially now that Israel is starting to attack back. This war and every war is a horrible thing for everyone. A war war is when there's two competing powers going against each other. This is a a, a military versus a ragtag group of militants. This is not a war. Okay. This is not a war. It's just a modern, a modern government killing people. All right, straight up. Involved, except for those who get rich from it, it's right? Like, it's like saying the Crips. There's, there's a group of Crips, and the U.S. military government goes yeah, into right. yeah. L.A. to take out the Crips, and it's a war. Right. Yeah. Ain't no damn war. Yeah. yeah. All right, you're just taking them out. Yeah, okay. Crips don't got no, nothing to fight against those type of powers. Yeah, it's not, that's not a war. Okay. This morning, around 6 a.m., around sunrise, hundreds of Hamas terrorists, at least 300, breached the border fence in multiple places, completely unimpeded, we found leading out it was to terror thousand. attacks and kidnappings in Israeli towns or villages. The terrorists infiltrated a significant number of dry land outposts, as well as a naval naval infiltration point in Zikin. As we speak, Israel is actively engaged in combat in 22 outposts. This is from the IDF statement, the official statement. The attacks have already resulted in over 100 casualties and more than 100 kidnaps of Israel. We know these numbers are way more. It's into the thousands now. Israeli citizens. In one village, 50 Israelis have been taken hostage, leaving people locked in shelters for long periods of eight to nine hours without rescue. By the way, the 100 kidnappings is not the official number. It's what we hear from people on the ground. We don't need the update. This is how strict it used to be. It has to be. I spoke to a few people who used to be in intelligence. They say if a mouse would touch the fence, 20 jeeps will get there in less than a minute. You see here what he mm-hmm. said? Yep. He said if a mouse touched the fence, 20 jeeps, 20 jeeps will pull up in 15 <laughs> minutes. This is how sophisticated this defense system is. A mouse. Mm-hmm. So now you're going to tell me 1,000 insurgents right. is just going to flow through the sucker? Yeah. Unimpeded? <laughs> Absolutely not. All right, so you see the point, you know, you see that the problem was created. It wasn't something random, all right? It wasn't Hamas, all right, coming up with this year-long plan, and they pulled it off, and it worked, and nah, nah. Now, the thing that we have to understand, do actual, you know, if some of those Israelis die? Of course. They're just pawns in the overall scheme of the elites, okay? They use their people as pawns as well. Okay, so now we see that this was a created problem. Okay, just to drive home their point, it was created problem. So now they can push, okay, the propaganda, which controls what? The reaction. Okay. (laughs) Now let's go here. Okay, let's get this, which they brought out a precept, but we'll get this as well. GMS Soldier 144, 
Psalms 10 and 7 it says his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud under his tongue is mischief. Okay, under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, the secret places. Okay, doth he murder the innocent? His eyes are privily set against the poor. And this man always has, you know, some wicked agenda, you know, to carry out in the earth, man. You know, and it's all goes into him, you know, wanting the birthright back. Okay, because ultimately he wants those Palestinians out of there. All right, and he wants to establish, you know, himself as the chosen people and run the world, all right, in complete wickedness forever. You know, and this is why he's using his technology to clamp down with more control going into the sea hip. All these things tying together, this war, the sea hip, all this is part of one, all right, big plan of the devil, man. All right. <clears throat> this is, um, uh, I jumped to five, get to the point. This is the brother beyond Yasha Allah, Psalm 68. Four and five, it says they speaking of the wicked, he saw Edom encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, Who shall see them? Okay. Well, see, this man is being spoke exposed as the scriptures say he can't hide himself. This information is coming out now. Okay. But he's you know moving like, well, look, we're gonna plan this. He, he he's having these councils, okay. Or they encouraging themselves, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to set this up. We're going to set the attack here. We're going to run this in the media. And then we're going to come in. Okay, we're going to be justified. We're going to be looked at as heroes. Okay? But it's all a snare. <laughs> you see, it's all a trap to get people to believe a certain narrative. All right? So they can be justified in their wickedness. Now, that was the problem. So now... Let's get the reaction, okay? Because let's look at, you know, and there's a lot of things we can get, you know, concerning with the reaction. But I want to get this first. Now, this, you know, you had this guy, uh, Jesus is the word, okay, come to uh, come to the Dallas camp Friday. What do you think? All right. So he comes to the Dallas camp and the El Ariala ask him a question all right concerning what's going on with um <clears throat> with uh israel all right those israelis and hamas now his response lets you know that the propaganda is working on the masses okay so we want to play his response all right we're going to play his response and then you know, we're going to go to another video and show you how now through propaganda, they're controlling the reactions. All right. And the emotions of the people. OK. And this is this is the thing. Christians have nothing to say about what those Israelis do. But brothers reading the Bible is a major problem. Which the other Yasha woman is going to make that point. So I'm going to pay play by the minute of this, you know, and then we'll go to the next video. Lord will. <clears throat> question that entails more than yes or no when we read psalms 149 did you agree that that was synonymous with salvation there are aspects of salvation in it yes. no i'm <laughs> serious <laughs> well, okay. wait, 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 wait. i got another question what do you think about the, uh, the, the state of israel right now you think it's okay what they're doing what do you think about power Sign, you think it's okay with their no, I'm asking about the theater. I don't know. I don't deal with politics. So, did y'all hear that? Y'all hear his response? You know, Elder Ariala asked him about what's going on, you know, with Israel Hamas. And he said, He said, Do you think it's okay what Israel is doing? And then this guy, Jesus, is a word, which is a Christian. All right. And he represents the mindset of millions of Christians, okay, in America. He said, uh, do you think it's okay what, what Hamas is doing? Okay. Why? Because of propaganda. You know, you have the, uh, you know, the thing where they so-called have a, a, 
a burnt baby. You know, Hamas is over there burning babies. And see, these Christians are eating it all up. These Americans in the West are eating it all up. Okay? So soon as a brother asked about what the Israelis are doing, he said, well, what about what Hamas is doing? Okay? This man is extremely crafty, man. <laughs> okay? And he has the minds of the masses. All right? And that would be the response of millions of people if you were ask them, okay, do you think what the Israelis are doing is right? They would say, well, their first response is going to be, well, what about Hamas? Okay? Because it's ingrained in them in these last few days that Hamas are just this terrible, uncontrollable group of terrorists, inhumane. You know, it only took a few days to get people to believe this, man. So imagine when he really pushes his propaganda against the brothers. That's why how Shah said we're going to be hated by all men for his name's sake. Okay? You have millions, probably billions of people that hate Hamas based off a few days of, of, of media propaganda. Okay? This is part of, of, of Esau's all right, uh, weaponry as well as his media. Okay? So, um, we're winding back a little bit so we can hear it again. I'm gonna let it play, you know. But just listen to how he listen to his immediate response. You know, he's programmed to respond like that through the media, man, and chant it. So, what, what does salvation mean? You want to answer? I'll answer you. So you're asking me a question that entails more than a yes or no. When we read Psalms 149, did you agree that that was synonymous with salvation? There are aspects of salvation in it. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got another question. What do you think about the, uh, the, the state of Israel right now? You think it's okay what they're doing? What do you think about Palestine? Do you think it's okay what they're doing? No, I'm asking about the state of Israel. I don't know. I don't deal with politics. Oh, okay. Now you don't know. I, you what do you want me to tell you? You want me to tell you? you tell me what you want me to tell you. I am telling the truth. You don't have an opinion so, about just so you know. Yeah, I wish they were in the same ground. We don't. We don't do stand with the right to defend yeah. themselves. Anybody does. So why do why do y'all give us so much hell for defending ourselves? Yeah. Well, well, the, we're not. Y'all call this hate, but then bombing in retaliation is cool. That's justified. But what we're doing is hate. Wait, what's hate? What are we talking about? Maybe not you, but yeah. this guy and all of these Christian apologists have yeah. for years tried to paint us as terrorists, hateful oh, demons, yeah. just for doing what we're doing. Even if you continue to read, after all. All right, so you see that? You know, just like other Yashua woman said, like, here it is. We can be called hate groups. You know, we are listed on the state, uh, what is it, Southern Poverty? Um, Southern Poverty Law, if I'm saying it right, my brother can put in the coming board, but on the Southern Poverty Law, you know, um, we're listed, you know, as extremists, all right? But what, what the state of Israel do is not ex extreme. Teaching the Bible, you know, reading verses and precepts and breaking it down, going into the Greek and to the Hebrew, telling our people, you know, to eat better, get off the drugs, you know, uh, promoting, you know, structure within the family. Okay, the embarrassment of our people, you know, that's that's extreme. That's that's terroristic. Okay, it's all propaganda. And then, and then how, how he's able to do this hey, through the, the witchcraft of his medium, man. Okay, so let's go from there. I want to get another video. Okay, now, what like I said, now we're seeing the reaction. He created the problem. Now, look at the now we're looking at the reaction. You know, so let's go here. I got a quick video of these different celebrities. Now, what we have to understand with these celebrities, Esau is paying them these these millions of dollars and giving them, you know, all this fame, you know, but they're on call to for his propaganda when need be. Okay, they're they're on call. All these celebrities are on call to for this man's propaganda when need be. Okay. Whether it be recordings, just whether it be the alphabet people, okay, whether it be uh, Black Lives Matter, okay, or whether it be you know dealing with what's going on, what we see now, but whatever these elites 
okay? Because who, who owns Hollywood, man? All right? The same people that are playing the victim, okay? That's who owns Hollywood. So when, you know, in these music um, labels, all right, it's, 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 it's the elites. So whenever things happen, you know, they can call on these different celebs, okay, to forward their propaganda, okay? Which is a, 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 a method of what? Controlling the reaction. All right, so let's just see this real quick. All right, and this is going into the reaction, man. And this many, I know there's many more reaction videos that uh we can get, you know, I'll just get a quick one, you know, just to drive home the point. civilians who have been my heart is broken for all of the innocent civilians who have been killed by Hamas the war is unspeakable horrific scary emotional I stood by Israel and I danced for Israel and we gave it our all reality star Mauricio Umansky raising awareness and hitting the dance floor with an Israeli flag pin last night I'm Jewish. I lived nine months in a kibbutz in Israel, um, and it was a very important part of my life. I heard early this morning that one of my cousin's boyfriends was killed today in uh, defending uh, his kibbutz. We are beginning to learn about the full scope of the mass bloodshed. Amidst the horror, an outpouring of support for CBS Morning's anchor, Tony DeCopel. Good to hear that Tony's family, I know he has a couple of kids in Israel. Yes. Thank God yeah. they're safe. Thanks for the comments about my kids. They are safe, and, and I appreciate your concern. Celebs also mobilizing relief efforts. Boxing legend Floyd Mayweather's relief organization is reportedly sending food, water, and bulletproof vests for Israel's defense forces and civilians. And Bethany Frankel's Be Strong initiative has already raised $750,000. We are currently getting ready to load cargo planes en route to Israel with aid. In London, Will and Kate said they are profoundly distressed and condemn the attack. Stars also sending support on social. Ellen quoted Martin Luther King Jr. Jerry Seinfeld with this post, I stand with Israel. And Gigi Hadid, who is half Palestinian, writing, while I have hopes and dreams for Palestinians, none of them include the harm of a Jewish person. Here's one thing you need to do before buying anything online. Don't, don't spend another dime on Amazon until you watch this first. Watch. Yeah, so you see, okay, the uh, the reaction. You know, and these celebs are doing nothing but playing a role to fake crime. You know, get the hell out of here, okay? And it's a spirit that you see. Like the video is one minute and 44 seconds, <laughs> okay? You know, this all works in our favor, <laughs> okay? All this works in our favor, you know? So now, you, you had a problem which was created. Now you see the media is controlling the reaction. So now let's get into the solution, you know? Now, yeah, the SPLC, Southern Poverty Law Center, you know, which, uh, uh, you know, you go into it, you know, type in Hebrew Israelites and, and Southern probably lost in it. We, we, you know, <laughs> we on the billboard is, you know, some of the worst thing going. Okay. We don't have one fighter jet. Okay. You know, we need nothing. All right. But somehow, you know, when, 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 once we get off, you know, off work, you know, we're the worst thing going, <laughs> you know, after we take our work uniform off and uh, uh, take the boots off and put our flip flops on, you know, we're, we're the worst thing going. We're the most dangerous threat, you know, to humanity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this boy tough with his propaganda, man. So now, all right, now let's go into the solution. Now let's go into what these devils are are, 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 are doing moving forward. Okay. Um Does not want this to happen. So if that
Guys, information came in at 7 a.m., which means it's about six or eight hours old. Um, and they are saying that. It says Israel gives 1.1 million North Gazans 24 hours to evacuate as UN warns of calamitous situation. Now, you've got 2.3 million or so of Gazans there. And when they say 1.1 million North, it looks like they're going to start through from the North areas of Gaza and push South. Now, remember, and I saw the video, there were thousands of Gazans lined up to go out that Southern border towards Egypt. And right after this conflict began, and then Israel bombed it. Israel said there were tunnels under that area or whatever, and then, but the people couldn't get out. So, and, uh, when they talk about axes of evil, there are two, two completely different sections, but they're all on the same evil plot. You've got the U S the UK and that group and that evil axis of, uh, terrorism. I'm talking about terrorism. And then you've got the other side I'm talking about terrorism there too. It says, starting about six to eight hours ago, Israel's military began announcing that all Palestine's uh, civilians in Gaza have 24 hours to evacuate from the north of the Strip to the south. Leaflets are also being airdropped over the area. The northern part of Gaza can, constitutes over 1 million people out of a total Gaza population of 2.3 million, all in the densely packed and blockaded Strip of land. It's about 22 miles long, but the widest part is eight miles only. Then it narrows back down to five and six miles. The idea DF calls for the evacuation of all citizens of Gaza City from their homes southward for their own safety and protection and move to the area south of the Wada Gaza, as shown on the map. The Israeli Defense Forces alert said Israel has mobilized some 300,000 reservists and has been engaged in the large military buildup in the south of the country, readying, readying a presumed major ground assault. Guys, and here's a four-second video of that occurrence. This is over in northern Gaza. There are your leaflets. So we don't know what they're saying. Probably just what was being reported here, move out, because all hell's about to come to northern Gaza. And it's gonna, once they get northern Gaza, cleared out what will happen if they're allowed to do it will they drop leaflets now on all of them in the south and tell them to move into egypt are they going to open up that southern border gate now remember today's the international day of uh islamic jihad france is already having major problems you know they're ahead of us on their time so it's already been fired the 13th there same as in israel but uh they are starting to see clashes and the police in France are coming down with very heavy hands and pushing the protesters back. Now, it wasn't so long ago they welcomed everyone. Now they see the internal strife that's occurring and they're afraid. France is shaking in their boots right now, guys, because they've been run out of Africa, military, everything, been run out of Africa. Now they see that what their uh, policies backed by Klaus Swass and many others has done to their country. It's too late. It's too late. Is it going to be too late here before too long? Hamas terrorists are hiding in Gaza City inside tunnels underneath houses and inside buildings populated with innocent Gazan civilians. The warning said additionally, civilians of Gaza City evacuate south for your own safety and the safety of your families and distance yourself from Hamas terrorists who are using you as human shields. From what I understand, and I'm not there, Hamas is not letting everybody uh, evacuate, but there are a lot. You can see on one uh, particular video, rows and rows of cars with mattresses on top of them and everything, and they're all headed south. It says you must evacuate your homes immediately and go to the south. Leaflets in Arabic being dropped over Gaza City read, Wada Gaza is eight miles southeast of the center city. The IDF is now claiming that Hamas is preventing civilians from evacuating. Hamas did issue a call for Palestinians to stay in their homes and not heed the Israeli propaganda campaign and psychological war. Hamas urges residents to remain steadfast in your homes and to stand firm in the face of this disgusting psychological war uh, waged by the occupation. 
Gazans say they have nowhere to go. Also, after the long Rafa border crossing with Egypt has at this point been bombed multiple times. So, guys, what? who is the real face of evil? Are there two or are there multiple? <clears throat> so now we're seeing the solution and what they wanted to do, you know, which was to invade Gaza and clear out those Palestinians. Okay, but they're still doing it in a way. <laughs> they drop me leaflets, you know. Imagine you gotta put yourself in this position. Okay, you're you're at the house, you know, you're out, <laughs> you know, grilling. Okay, listening to the OJ. All right, and the letter, okay, hit you on top of your goddamn head, man. Okay, telling you, hey, get out of here, scram. <laughs> okay, this is what those Palestinians are going through, man. One point two million. Where, 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 where do one two people, one point two million people just go find shelter? You know, food. Where, where, where do they go? Okay. Now, are you going to see the celebrity saying, well, you know, we don't agree with what with, with, with Hamas did, but, you know, the displacement of 1.2 million? Because remember, they said, what, 250 Israelis, you know, supposedly died from the attack. So that justifies displacing 1.2 million Palestinians. <laughs> you see? This is this is what they wanted to do before they create that problem was to clear out God. Okay, but they had to use their method of problem, reaction, solution. You know? So we see the whole phase of the problem, reaction, solution. Okay? And they 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 they, they also are so they also now <clears throat> they're also saying that Hamas won't let you know, um, certain civilians leave, you know, and that's also just another safety net to when they invade and they start, you know, and civilians are being killed, they're going to say, well, Hamas won't let them go. You know, we dropped leaflets, we gave them a this amount of time, but Hamas won't let them go so they can blame the killing. Watch, when they, when they, if they invade Gaza and they kill more civilians, they're going to blame it on Hamas not allowing them to leave which we don't hamas not speaking all right who 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 speaks arabic can okay <laughs> you know like who 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 knows what hamas is saying was there control the leaders of them okay he's saying what they said so if you just got his word on it you know he's just setting up a safety net okay that when he goes in there he just starts slaughtering and bombing all right, he's going to blame it on Hamas that they won't let him leave. Okay, we're seeing the setup. You know, as we study this devil, you know, we already know. You know, you, you study your opponent, you know his moves, his go to. Okay, the, the, the old ass fade away. Okay, you, we, we see it. He telegraphed every time. Okay, so, you know, um, let's end. Matter of fact, if a brother can post. You know, we ended there with Job chapter 5, you know, verses 12, I believe 13. You know, we ended there. But I hope hope this is making sense, man. You know, problem, reaction, solution. I hope that it made sense. You know, I hope that, 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 that you know, we all have an understanding of what we're seeing happen in real time. And he used this formula over and over and over again. We're going to see the same formula when it's time to demonize the brothers. Okay, he's going to cause a problem, all right? Some crazy nigga with a nappy fro, okay? A uh, uh, scruffy beard, all right? He's going to do something crazy, okay? And he's going to, you know, um, be linked, you know, to a camp. So that's the problem. And he's going to control the reaction. Where he's going to put, you know, a highlight tape of, you know, brother saying, <clears throat> You know particular things on camera and he's going to put it together as their brothers just these extremists okay he's going to control the reaction and then 
you know, his solution is going to be to remove brothers, man, you know, to come in like a flood. Because that's what he's been doing in Palestine. They're going to come in like a flood. All right? So he's going to do the same thing. All right? When it's time to push the sea hit, he's going to do the same thing. All right? He's going to create the problem with food shortages, on um, the economy, you know, inflation, then eventually the economy collapsing, allowing violence to just, you know, uh, you know, He's gonna ain't gonna be no police force. Violence is just gonna be rampant. Okay, women ravaged. All right, and then he's he, he's gonna control the reaction to why you know certain things are happening. He's gonna be pushing propaganda. That, you know, it's because of this, because of the BRICS nations. It's because uh, <clears throat> of um, you know, um, the, the 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 Democrats. You know, whoever we decide to blame. Okay, and then he's gonna jump on the scene with this solution which is the see here okay so this is how the devil moves man this is how he operates man <laughs> okay well we 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 have to you know be steadfast and understanding these things you know so as i pray that it made sense you know this is a brother beyond yashala Joel 5 and 12 say he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands could not perform their enterprise okay and this devil is not going to problem reaction solution his way to an eternal empire okay an eternal wicked empire is not going to happen okay he's going to get so far and then the lord is going to intervene all right he said he taken the wise and their own craftiness and the counsel of the fraud is carried headlong all right so this man is going to be taken in his own craftiness all this propaganda okay that he's pushing in the earth he's going to be taken in that okay ultimately destroyed because um the brother um Quar Ma, you know, did a video and he's saying Iran, you know, I, you know, we don't know if Iran actually said this or not, but he's it's saying that Iran um said that they're gonna intervene if those Israelis go into the Gaza um the Gaza script, if they do that invasion. You know, so it's a rumor, which, you know, is rumors of wars. So you have you have two things that can happen, okay? They can go into um, Gaza, do what they want to do, okay? And then everything kind of, you know, simmers down, you know? And, and it go back to how it was, okay? They've been and just took their land and displaced more Palestinians, which is what they wanted to do. And that'd be the end of this so-called conflict because it's not a war. Okay. And then that's another thing. They call it a war to make it seem as if, you know, Hamas is, Hamas is on the out, on, on the offensive. No, they can't be. All right. They're not capable of having a war with, 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 with the idea. Okay. So it can go their way, you know, and things simmer down or, you know, they can invade Gaza and, you know, if, if Hezbollah, because it, 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 it'll pretty much be Hezbollah, you know, which acts on behalf of Iran in that region, you know, that would, you know, respond, okay, to that invasion, you know, of of, uh, of the Gaza script, which we'll see, you know, because one thing about it, the last resort for these nations is to go to war. When you really understand how a nation runs and, you know, the war, all right, is, is, is terrible for a nation. Even if you win the war, you know, it can, uh, uh, that's why you see, you know, um, certain nations that they can beat another nation, but how much resources, how many casualties, you know, would it take, you know, to defeat that nation, you know? So it's like, you know, the war not worth it. You know, even though you can win a war, you like it's not worth it because we can be set back, you know, just by going into this war. Yeah, we can win, okay, but it, it, it can set us back. So war is always last resort, okay. So, you know, um, it can go either ways. It can it can it can go into our uh, Iran intervening, you know. And me just speaking as a man, you know, I would speculate that Hezbollah, you know, would be all right, but will be the uh, the military force that will react, which Hezbollah is capable of going to war, 
with the idea. Okay. All right. So we'll see. You know, it can it could go either way. You know, like we just watching these things play out. You know, we're gonna stay on our watch. You know, and just you know keep keep reporting in the spirit, man. <laughs> you know. So Lord, will you brothers and you few sisters edified? You know, once again, to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahushua by Shem Kabodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great example towards younger brothers and peace and blessing and salutation to the hopeful that shallow one. You know, if any questions, you know, feel free to ask if you want to know what's going on with this nation and what this what this mean, what these people, who are these people, whatever you want to ask, you know, feel free to ask, you know, and, and, and we're getting into it, you know, it'd be something for me to get into, you know. This is what we do, you know, as the Lord will, it was edified, shallow one.